G'day everyone, David Bayless here from BM Pro and we're back with episode three of understanding lithium batteries for the RV industry. I've got Ryan Hammond with me today here today and we're gonna talk, Ryan, this episode about safety. Yep. There's a lot of rumors out there, you hear a lot of things in the media and people just categorize things as lithium and sort of lump everything into the one into the one basket, but that's certainly not the case, is it? So what makes the lithium iron phosphate particularly safe compared to other types of lithium batteries? There's been a, a lot of uh, noise about lithium iron and uh, with uh, things catching fire, etc. So I mentioned before about the different lithium ion chemistries, each having different characteristics. Yep. And uh, some of those less safe versions have a very low thermal runaway point and uh, are subject to thermal runaway under abuse at a, a lot lower uh, conditions. So can you explain thermal runaway? I hear a bit of people talking about it. I've written it about it a couple of times, but from an expert, what do you, how do you classify thermal runaway? So it'll, when the cells get to a specific um, temperature, they go into a, uh, a point where of no return, really, where they uh, self, self ignite, yep. if you like, Sorry. or um, and the, that's when you have a catastrophic failure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. With with the lithium ion phosphate. The thermal runaway point is very high, yeah. so you're talking up around uh, 230, 250 oh, wow. degrees Celsius, okay. compared yeah. to some of those other ones, uh, NMC, NCA, they can get down as low as 130 to 150 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So that's one of the uh, benefits of lithium ion phosphate. Yeah. Okay. So now you've got a BMS in these ones, right? well all lithium batteries have got a BMS in there. But you know, what's the BMS in there designed to do? I mean, so the, it obviously does the functionality side of things about you know monitoring and measuring the current and the voltage and things like that. But obviously, it's got a lot to do with safety in regards to the BMS. Yeah. So the BMS is is really purely there to protect the cells against abuse. Yeah. So under conditions like over voltage, uh, over temperature, uh, uh, over discharge, yeah. for example, and, and short circuit. So yeah. uh, yes, lithium ion phosphate is inherently safe. However, we uh, certainly wouldn't recommend putting a, a battery out there, a lithium battery out there, without a, uh, a BMS or a protection circuit yep. uh, monitoring device. Okay. So Ryan, with the BMS, can you explain to me, what does it actually do? Let's say if we go into an overcharge scenario, what does a BMS actually do? How does it actually protect the battery? Yeah, so essentially it, it goes into an open circuit or right. it, it protects, uh, it stops the, the voltage yep. um, from going into either a charge, so it stops your charge coming in or stops your discharge. Right. And uh, we'll go into a protection mode, which yep. is a, essentially a, like an open circuit across the terminals. Okay, now one of the questions I get in my 12 volt guru column quite a lot is uh, talking about different types of lithium batteries. You know, and then we see batteries that we can pick up on eBay for you know like half the price of what we uh, would put these Invicta batteries out there for. So, I mean, I guess it's like all things in life, you, you know, you get what you pay for, don't you? So with a battery like this, you know, a great quality lithium battery, what are we getting quality wise, therefore safety wise, compared to cheap and cheerful sometimes out on eBay and things like that? Yeah, correct. So just like in your AGM where there's different levels of, of quality and normally you get what you pay for, yeah. it's the same thing with uh, lithium ion phosphate. And one of the big differences between the lower cost and the high cost is the quality of the paste or the powder that they use in uh, in the construction of the lithium ion phosphate cell. So building cell. the inside of the battery. Correct. Yep, yep. yep. It's the internals. And we've uh, we've gone with the highest quality um, powder yep. or, or paste uh, to, for the lithium ion phosphates, which does really guarantee the uh, the cycle life. And yep. that's really why people are buying lithium ion phosphate because of the extended cycle, cycle life. life compared to, to AGM. So with some of those lower cost ones, you might find that uh, you might only be getting you know, 600, 800, 1,000 cycles. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, with the Invicta range, as we can show you later, uh, we really do get those 2,000 cycles yeah. at 100% depth of discharge. Yeah, well, you're right, because we've been testing here at BM Pro headquarters, we've been testing one of these batteries for several months now, putting it through a regular discharge and um, recharge. Um, I think it's about 25 or 30 amps, right down to 10% remaining capacity. I think we've done, we've looked at it before, we've done over 1,200 cycles now from fully charged, fully discharged, and we're still looking at over 94% capacity within Correct. the battery. So yep. you're not gonna get that when you're using inferior materials. And that's what people are paying for on lithium, aren't they? Exactly. They're paying for yeah. something to last. So if you're gonna spend the money, you better spend the money wisely and get something which is proven and has been tested to actually last. Yeah, that's exactly right. And uh, I think the, the other, 
The other thing to watch out for is the safety certification. Yeah, that's right. Well, you guys have done it a little bit differently and you know, you've gone over the top compared to what a lot of other people have done. What have you guys yeah, done? Yeah, really. So the, the 12 volt and 24 volt uh, sealed lead acid replacement style, many of the reputable uh, dealers will have a, an IEC certification at the cell level, yeah. uh, as do we. Yeah. But that's just one cell that's been sent to uh, an IEC uh, test. Test laboratory. Uh, test laboratory and tested for short circuit, um, over charge, over discharge, etc. etc. Sure. We've done that as well, but we've also taken the next step and set the whole battery, uh, including the BMS, mm -hmm. to the uh, independent uh, test laboratory, uh, IEC certified, and had the complete uh, battery system tested. Yeah. And they do extra things like intercell, what happens is if there's an intercell short circuit, yep. so that wouldn't be tested on just a cell test. They also tell us that the BMS does what it says it's going to do and yeah. protects under certain circumstances. So, so that's an ever, extra level of comfort that people can really appreciate in these batteries. So I mean, I challenge many people to go out there and find a battery that's A, got the cells provided at, you know, certified at cell level, and then to see the battery certified overall, um, it's very, very hard to find that. Correct, yeah, and uh, it gives you that peace of mind that uh, when it's sitting in your in your RV and that's what you're uh, you're sleeping in overnight, yeah. that uh, you do have peace of mind that the, the battery that you've got there is uh, is the safest on yeah. the market. So we've got a safe battery, inherently safe, good quality materials being used in its construction. It's been tested here in Australia. Lots of people will just give you a test graph that's been simulated by you know some mathematics and some numbers. But we've actually been testing these batteries out the back here, so we know exactly what they're like and you've got the battery fully certified to a fully constructed version. So inherently that just gives, overall, that just gives the customer a great level of satisfaction that they're, you know, they're looking at a really good safe battery. Correct, yeah. And I think right. one of the points you touched on before is the, the cycle of testing that uh, you guys have been doing here on the, uh, on the complete battery system. Yeah. Many of the graphs you get on data sheets yeah. uh, of a a uh, cycle test that's been done on one cell, one cell only, and normally is only done to about 500 cycles, yeah. and then the projection is, yeah. uh, is the rest of it. It's Whereas really uh, you're doing it in an environment which is uh, not controlled, mm -hmm. so uh, the temperature is not controlled, where the cycle life on factory is, it's yeah. done at a, a specific temperature, and you're doing it at a complete battery system yeah. as well. All right, so there you go. Hopefully we've given you a bit more of an understanding in episode three here with Ryan and myself about some of those safety aspects, some of those questions that we get asked on, on the safety of lithium batteries. See you in episode four.